Hey guys, it's Drak, and I'm bringing you an exciting review of the new Busby Blaster, the Gunsmoke by Busby Air Warriors. And it looks like it comes with four darts, four shells. I've never liked this system. And something that they're calling point oh oh four fluid ounces of Gunsmoke. Now, this is interesting new technology. I can't think of any toy blasters that have done anything like this before. And because of this, it is requiring batteries. So it is requiring three AA batteries be installed. It's requiring you install this smoke chamber. And it's, it's pretty interesting. The first thing that I want to mention is the blaster itself reminds me of the old over-under style double shots that Busby used to do. And I feel like the shell technology is very, very inefficient, but I know that a lot of people really like it, that it interests particularly younger kind of nerfers. So I'm actually going to get all of these parts out of the package off camera and go ahead and install some AAA batteries in here so that, or over here. And it's not AAA, it is AA batteries, so I will be installing those shortly. Real quick, we'll see that they are claiming ranges of up to 30 feet, so when we come back, we'll check out all of the action. Alright, so we're back and we got the batteries installed. The blaster has a few things that I want to point out before I start loading it and dealing with the gun smoke feature. The first of which is that the blaster is ludicrously uncomfortable. Holding it, my pinky either curls up and hangs off or wraps around in a strange way. This handle is much too thick to, to do much of anything with. It's not like having the ability to reach everything is comfortable because my trigger finger's down here, my disengage for the, the forward feature is up here, and then everything else is just kind of like barely holding on. So it's very uncomfortable. And then in addition to that, the stock serves very little purpose. It's confusing to me, and it looks like the stock might open up, which would be just wild to me. But... It doesn't appear to be the case, it's just kind of cheaply put on there, which is strange. But what's strange is just how small this stock area is. If you see this is holding the blaster and then shouldering, we have to do this very strange chicken wing style thing to get it up anywhere close. So perhaps it was designed for someone with smaller arms, but with my size of body and arms, this is not very comfortable. So if you were a college side student, this is probably not going to be the best HVZ blaster. It's just very uncomfortable. That said, I am very curious as to how this gimmick is going to perform. It's the kind of gimmick that I think is really interesting. So you take this small reservoir of gun smoke fluid and you screw it into the front of the blaster, like so. So we're almost there. And touchdown. Awesome. All right, so Busby Blasters have always had... Oh no, we lost a shot. Busby Blasters have always had the air restrictors built into the chamber themselves. You can see that as I put it in, that's how far it goes. And then if I push harder, we can disengage that air restrictor. So priming the blaster is just like the old double shots. You prime all the way. This string is what's actually engaging the mechanism. And it's just wild to me that they're still using string for this. Not a lot of technological advancement from Busby here. This clicks into place. This will drop open when we open the blaster to kind of eject the shell. But for now, we want it completely engaged so that we can fire. And now let's fire. All right, so darts go a reasonable distance they're going wow that is actually a lot of smoke and you can smell it which you guys can't but i can smell it and it smells very strange the dart performance is typical for a busby blaster it's getting more or less 25 foot ranges which is well within what they claim it's certainly not an elite blaster but that gun smoke feature was not only effective but also kind of cool if i'm going to be completely honest so these eject they're very good at ejecting, and we'll fire one more. Too cool. That's awesome. The smell would get old after a while, I fear. That's gone. Very cool. All right, so fire one more Busby dart. And this is just a really interesting feature. It looks as though the smoke is coming from a small white reservoir down in here and I'm sure there's something electronic going on where we're like charging this reservoir of fluid and a small amount is vaporizing similar to how electronic cigarettes work or something to that effect. Let's see. I did bring a single elite dart with me so we can chamber that 
see if we can get it to disengage that Busby air restrictor and we'll fire that see if that doesn't get better performance than the Busby darts since Busby darts are not the best quality of foam for nerfing applications so that went much farther and this is just cool I actually I don't want to say that I'm doing a full 180 on this blaster but even without a dart in it it should fire and there we go, we get it again. That's just a really, really neat feature, and I like it a lot. I think that it's super duper cool when you consider that the price point for this blaster is only $10. That's, that's a pretty neat gimmick. The batteries cost almost as much as the blaster at that point, and the gimmick is sweet. Like the box said, this should be good for 500 shots of smoking action, and I think that that's a neat feature. It helps kind of take this from toy to kind of like cowboys and Indian style play, which I think is really, really cool. I would advise against painting one of these, I think, while using the gun smoke feature because you start to get into a very dicey realm with your replicas if they're not only looking like a Winchester rifle, but also smoking every time that you fire them because that's at least as far as my knowledge of firearms goes, that is pretty convincing. I think that that's really neat. So that's my review of the Busby Gunsmoke. It's one of their new 2014 blasters. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for watching my Gunsmoke review video. I figured I'd throw this in as a freebie for Friday, just kind of letting you know what's going on. I'm working on two of my commissions right now, and they're taking up a lot of my time, but this is kind of a sneak preview of what those commissions are. I'm not going to tell you which one is which, because I want there to be some interesting surprises in those videos, but the next two commissions involve all of this stuff, and a few extra things, but that's what's going on in my workshop right now, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. Enjoy your weekend.